disclaimer, this video is going to offend you most likely. If you're any kind of a social justice person, this will be an offensive video, I assure you. You should turn it off now. Do not watch this. It will upset you and probably cause you to have a brain explosion. Um, I'm not about that. I'm not about being PC. I've got something funny that just occurred to me and I need to talk about it. In order to do that, I need to set some ground rules. I'm not trying to piss anybody off. I'm very sensitive to the plight of human humanity and people that are transgendered or gay or bi or that look like they're gay or bi but are not or fat or anything like that and, you know I'm fine with all of it but something funny has occurred to me and uh, let me preface this by saying that this is mostly about female to male transgenders men that dress like women is a different issue I suppose uh, it's always bothered me though that the ratio of transgenders that are also gay is not the same as the ratio of just people that are gay so it seems like there's way more like almost like 90 95 percent anybody that's transgender is also gay but why if you're just let's say you're like a a girl that's a lesbian if you want to be with a lesbian, you don't have to look like a dude, or one of you doesn't have to be butch. You could both just be two lesbian chicks. You don't, what's the point of... Unless you're actually, like, transgender or transsexual and you need... You feel like a man on the inside, that's one thing. But why is it... It doesn't seem like that's the case because it's so many transgenders are also gay that that doesn't... That uh, statistic doesn't jive with the amount, the amount of people. Like, normal people that are gay. Now, now I'm not saying normal to mean like other people are not normal. I'm just saying. If it's like 10% of the people are gay, why is it like 90% of transgenders are gay? That's way skewed statistics. It shouldn't be that way. Just be gay. You don't have to be a dude. Or if you're a girl or if you're a guy, you don't have to dress like a woman. You don't have to be transgender. You can just be a gay dude. Two gay, two gay guys fucking. Nothing wrong with that. Nobody cares. Now here's what's funny. So there's this new girl at work guy at work. There's a transgender male to female to male at work. I don't know what you call it. Male to female or female to male. I, I used to do some parts stuff with like plumbing supplies and there's like you know pipe fittings that are male and female. Those are pretty straightforward because you can see what the parts are. She's born. Her name is Jessica. She wants to go by J. J-A-Y. So she's a born a woman. Wants to be recognized as a man. I get that. I didn't ask her any of her pronouns because, like, at this point in the conversation, I would feel like I would be making fun or, I don't know, it seems just odd and weird to ask somebody what their, what their pronouns are. Especially if you say, do you want to be Zim or Zer? Do you want to use one of the Z ones? Like, <laughs> that's just weird. But anyway, so I'm thinking about this issue, right? So she looks like a man, pretty much, but she's got the boobs. But then I got boobs. Men have a lot. Men have man boobs. So I'm thinking, like, is it inappropriate? Would it offend somebody if I said something like making fun of her man boobs? Because if she's really a dude, which I'm giving her all the benefits of the doubt, if you want to be a dude, let's treat you like a dude. Now, if I got a, a dude, any other dude, if I say, "Hey, look at those man tits on you," he's not going to get offended. He's a dude. Dudes don't get offended at that. But. A female, born a female, trying to be a man, I feel like they would get offended if you tried to slap them on their man tits. Or just make fun of their man tits. Because they're regular tits. They're just women tits on somebody trying to be a man. That's why it's offensive. Because you can't go up to a woman and like make fun of her tits. That I know is wrong. So then I took it a step farther. I'm thinking this dude walking around with a puss. Right? So, if I got a bunch of dudes standing around, a bunch of guys in a circle, guys usually talk about fucking and fucking puss. So I'm thinking, like, you can't go up to this person and ask to fuck her and her pussy. That's the most offensive thing you could probably say. You can't say something like that. Or, like, let me see your pussy. Like, but if it was a dude, what kind of man are you that you won't let me fuck your pussy? Because we're a bunch of dudes standing around. 
We're talking about fucking pussy. Everybody wants to fuck pussy because that's what guys talk about. And guys are always horny wanting to fuck pussy. And you're standing around here with a pussy? You won't let none of us fuck your pussy? What kind of man are you? You won't let us fuck your pussy. That's hilarious, dude. You're not a real man unless you let your let your friends fuck your pussy. Come on, man. <laughs> That's the weird situation you come into with transgenders. Like my my brother that passed away three years ago or four years ago now. He, uh, his wife, best friend was the same kind of a deal. Uh, She was born Beth, and she likes to be called Johnny B. Because her dad's name was Johnny. Her middle name, I guess, is Beth. So Johnny B. Best friends with my brother's wife. Now, if that's really a dude... That's weird. You, I didn't even think to ask my brother, like, why are you letting this dude hang out with your wife all the time? They're like, best friends? Are best friends a dude? But nobody thought anything of it because she's really born a woman wanting to be a man. So it's kind of, plus she's gay, so there's no, like, threat of, like, you know, cheating on him or anything. So it's a, kind of a weird situation. Like, why are all these transgenders gay? That's why we wonder about this. We're all accepting of it. I mean, most of us are. I'm sure there's some actual racists and hateful people out there that bigots or whatever you want to call them. But, like, we have questions. <laughs> why, why is somebody acting like they're actually dudes? I mean, they do for the most part, but they don't really know what it means to be a dude. They know what they've seen on TV, how dudes act on movies, how they think dudes are. But, like, dudes don't get pissed off at stupid shit like that. So why why would any transgender get pissed off? Like if you're a female to male transsexual and you're getting pissed off with this video, hey, you're not really a dude, because dudes don't care. Just saying. And let us fuck you in the pussy. I mean, come on, if you were walking around with a pussy, you think a guy wouldn't? You don't let your friends fuck you in the pussy, even if you're gay. Wait, and I'm not I'm not gay, but I wouldn't let my friends suck my dick just because my friend was gay. So that's kind of the same situation, isn't it? Plus, you die. you risk getting pregnant, and you're a pregnant man all of a sudden, and you're on the news. I mean, there was that one guy, but like, see, that wouldn't even make the news because you're not really a man. Men can't get pregnant, so they wouldn't take it seriously. That wait, wait, that will be way more pregnant men. Other than there's just like all the transgenders are are gay. That's why you don't have any pregnant men. You'd have way more pregnant men. I'm sure there's a few that's been on like tabloids and stuff. I gotta think about this. I don't know. It's like around here, nobody's like got enough money to get surgery and all these hormone replacement things. And actually, like Buck Angel, for example, he's like a dude. He's like an MMA fighter or something. But he's got a pussy. And I don't imagine he's going around letting dudes fuck him in his pussy. <laughs> not a real man. If you're not a, you're not a real man, unless you can let dudes fuck you in your pussy. <laughs> if you got a pussy. That's just bro code, man. It's the bro code is you help your brother out. If you got a pussy, we're all standing around horny with our dicks out. You won't let us fuck it. What a douche. What an asshole. We'll let us fuck you in your pussy. <laughs> 